you join us down at White Acres, where we're down for the weekend on a little bit of a social. Um, I think the last time I was there was probably three, four years ago. Back on Nelson's where we blanked, we fished at the top end. We're at the other end now and I'll put a little map in so you can see what pegs we fished. Six, there's five of us here. We're here for 72 hours. Friday, leave on the Monday. So hopefully we'll be um, able to catch a few fish and put it in the vlog and have a good sesh. A few barbecues, a few beers. Yeah, it'd be nice. Hopefully um, the fish are bite. Been fishing very good. So hopefully, these bad boys will be going off. So again, put the kettle on, sit back and enjoy the watch. Right, so it's, it's a little pub chuck out to be fair, but um, I have put the bait boat out, as sad as that is, because I know that presentation is bang on and I could get a little bit of bait out there without trying to spread it out so much. And my left rod, it's just on the tip of this um, tip of there. And then the right rod, I'm only going to fish two rods because it's quite a tight venue. It's just in this uh, reed like rushes there. So um, yeah, got the Winchwood rights back out, 12 foot, three and a half test. Just so uh, if we do up these big catfish in there, they ain't going to go around the back of that island. So I've uh, opted for these over the dwarfs. Um, hopefully they'll get a bit of a bend in. Steve's over on that middle peg there. All five are pops. It's just tucked in there. There he is. And he's fishing out sort of this island and in between the two. It is quite busy. There's a couple of people further down. There's a couple packing up over that side. Apparently they've been here for the week and have 50 cat and carp. But yeah, I don't know if it's 50 each or what is the makeup of the 50. So um, we've got a, a day guy to the left or right, well, left of we're seeing it, the right of Steve though. And then um, Bulldog and Matt is just sort of down and tucked around. But yeah, this is White Acres on Nelson's right by the tree guys so if this vlog is any good we catch a few fish this is where we are here he is and there's steve up there old bulldog So from my house to Newquay, or White Acres, just outside of Newquay, it's a couple of hours drive. Um, it's a Park Dean resort. So if you fancy fishing down here, I think it's like 13 lakes. Good for the family. It's got a caravan, but if you want to come down with the boys, happy days too. But yeah, here's Matt's peg. We've got a bit more water, so we've got three rods out here. So this is the corner peg and then it just goes straight up. Nice bit of water there. How is it mate? Good, not so bad. Pops has had a run. Has he? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be quiet at the moment. He's like, I know nothing. I was like, oh no. Just As we were like, sort of had a run out, just pulled up tight and started going. I was like, oh, here we go. Signs, eh? That is good signs. Good signs, yeah. Is, isn't it? Yeah, literally, I had no drop. I had no drop whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Lovely shower. Go straight up a bit. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely hammering it down.
So just an update, it's quarter four. I could pick the keys for the caravan, so um, up at four, I could pick them up at four. So that's not too bad. That means I could put all the stuff in the freezer and the fridge. Hopefully it's not miles away. So yeah, I'm gonna reel in in 20 minutes. Go and uh, check the facilities out. And then I'm um, gonna fire up a barbecue later on. He likes the Parker Bates. A uh, quick update then. So we're losing a bit of light even though it doesn't really look like it. It's, what's that? Quarter past seven, so yeah, 45 minutes it'd be dark. So that left hand one then repositioned sort of just about a foot, two foot off the island. Um, and then the right one is just there. Um, but I've changed to a Ronnie rig because they might have silt this there. Um, all these pegs along the back are bloody empty, well, apart from that one there, but I don't think he's gonna stay the night. But yeah, that's a shame because I fancied that sort of side. Um, not much to report really. My dad's had a couple of liners, um, and he's just sort of fishing out just past sort of this area. Um, so yeah, all quite on the western front, but uh, knocked up a pellet in uh, OG, yeah, pellet an OG mix with some magic dust, flat spot. And some OG sauce. So, yeah, using that. I haven't really, I've only done a kilo of each. So I've only put a couple of spoons in. Nothing nothing dramatic. This is going to ruin the chances, but yeah, here's a lovely little lake. Just wish uh, they would go off. That would be brilliant. So, yeah, at the moment, fishless, but let's see what the night brings. Well, it must be bite time, because here it is. Went screaming off, so that's only been out 20 minutes, hasn't it? So I just walked back slowly. Yes. Dad just had a twenty pound on the nose cat. A Nelson special. <laughs> Look at the fishy there. No, lose your hand. Lose that hand. Okay. Right bank, right bank. Yeah, right, your go, right that way. Your go. Go that way. Do your hand. Your go. Do you go. Eel. Eel. Eel, your go. It's not an eel. Eel. Look. See? Eel. 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 Look at me. And me. Right guys, so that's seven pounds on the nose. It's only a little one, I'll put the stills in, so I'll just put her back now. But yeah, come to a OG fish wafter that did. Right guys, well twenty past five and that little uh a little cat, sort of been plagued all night with um, Run's little bites. 
if I'd have were on the right one, um, which resulted in nothing. Dad's obviously had that cat before we went to bed, and then he um, had a screaming run, and the the pads on the mouth of the cat has gone through the, the braid at the bottom of the of the rig, unfortunately, so he's lost that one. But yeah, that was the first run on that left hand rod, or any, any signs of interest, that went screaming off. It was only a little seven pounder, as you've seen, but off the mark. The Nelson blanks over. Um, just build the swim now. So yeah, it's twenty past five in the morning, half five, something like that. Yeah, yeah half past five. Um, just gonna get back to sleep. Morning. So, a little bit of eventful night. I had one out, little baby kitten. My dad had one just before, as you've seen. But at half one, Matt had an eighteen-pound common carp. So I'll put that in now. Nice one mate, well done. Um, Dad's had a bit of a screaming run this morning, but um, apart from that, that's it really. Rods have put back out, rebated. Um, sort of three, three and a half foot all the way over. It's quite shallow. It's like that right the way up really. Um, Fish and slip the rafters. Um, and not a lot of bait putting in. I've learned that before. Don't put loads of bait in, they don't like loads of bait here. So, enough just to keep them there if they're grubbing around, and enough to get a bite. So, yeah, that's the update. That's the morning update. Got the bacon and the sausage on, so, gonna have a bit of breakfast and see what the morning brings. <laughs> seven guys and uh, if you can't hear by now the weather's turned for the worst so done a bit of a social hog roast potato stuff and went all up for the boys sadly it rained when we were eating it so we're bivy bang now half seven so it's gonna be a proper early night put the rods out on new spots my dad's gone up to the, the lodge to sleep tonight so I've gone sort of like over his swim a bit where he's had a little small cat and obviously that 20 pound cat. So, and I've just moved the left one just further right onto another island. It's just struggling really. Just don't feel like I can get, can get it going really. Like they, like they say, don't like fire a load of bait in. So I haven't really put a lot of bait in, so I, I can move. Um, but yeah, it's just I'm not fishing. It was the fishing last week. I think a load of 40s come out, 30s come out. Um, yeah, it's just, just not fishing that well, really, but we're still in it, halfway through, um, hopefully this wind and rain will ease off, because it's not good when you're trying to socialise and it's just bivy bang all the time, but, um, yeah, so, I'm still on a Ronnie and a Wafter, both on OG now, um, Wafters, so yeah, just, Hopefully see what done. Put a little bit of a bag on um, and then just put some boily in, pellet over the top. So hopefully we'll just nick a bite in the night and just see how we get on. 
So if nothing happens, I'll uh, see you in the morning. <laughs> That was a eventful night, wasn't it? Only had a few hours of sleep. So put a, put a brew on. Nice Costa coffee I made. Got the rods back out. Um, and then I'm gonna put my head down for a few hours, I think. So yeah, took the four cats. One night left. Don't think there's gonna be much in the day. I'm still gonna keep them out till probably about 12. I might just bring them in and then just prep the air up for tonight. Um, I know what while the rods are in I can get me a bang and um, I'm prepping the curry for tonight so yeah Let's see what happens oh hello cat let me go and get my uh bigger net absolutely blowing again Where is that over there? Oh, down here. Oh, it's down here, is it? I put one down there and one over, and half, halfway across. And I put chucked over the pellet over the top. It's gone off. What was that? Fight well, mine, didn't I? Not too much. Yeah, I put one down in there. What, she, I ain't on barbell, mate. Like. Hmm? Tighty, I ain't on barbell. <laughs> Done. Right guys, just had a 21 pound 8 cat and that's number cat number five. Another vlog, a bit man of form. Because that's the next destination where hopefully we'll be amongst the fouries. So if you're uh, still sipping on that cup of tea, hope it was a nice one. And stay tuned.
follow in there. Manor farm. Tight line, guys.